good morning students welcome back to class subject english first so in the last class we completed a letter that is application for urgent piece of work so today we are going to see a poem that is the rainbow which is there in page number 94 which is there in page number 94 so name of the poem is the rainbow so let's see the poem There's a rainbow in the sky. Do you know how it came by? Drops of water through sunlight gave the sky. This pretty sight, seven beautiful colors can be seen: red, yellow, and a lovely green. Violet, indigo, and blue. There is orange in it too. So. This poem is about a rainbow, which is saying that how a rainbow is formed. So rainbow is formed by drops of water by which sunlight passes through, and uh, when we are seeing in the sky, then we can see that rainbow which has seven colors, and the colors are red, yellow, green, violet, indigo, blue, and orange. so there are seven colors in a uh, rainbow and it used to come after some drops of water in the sky and when the sunlight passes through the, uh, that water we can see rainbow in the sky so this is the short summary of our poem that is there's a rainbow in the sky so in the first line it is saying in the sky there is a rainbow then there is a question asked do you know how it came by so it is asking how it came so how it is formed so drops of water through sunlight gave the sky so drops of water falling down through that sunlight passes and when we are seeing the sky we can see the rainbow then seven beautiful colors can be seen after that we can see seven beautiful colors of rainbow so the those colors are red yellow and a lovely green violet indigo and blue and there is a orange in it too so the colors of our rainbow are red yellow green violet indigo blue and orange so this is the poem the rainbow so now let's see the exercise of the poem so i am not going to write the question i will directly write the answers of the following questions so that is it is written exercise a questions exercise a questions you only have to write these answers in the textbook itself so you only have to write this answers in the textbook and you have to learn this answers from the textbook itself so first question what was there in the sky so what was there in the sky so in the sky there was rainbow So you have to write answer is rainbow. So this is comprehension type of question. So you can write it as one word answer, or either you can write there was rainbow in the sky. In the both way you can write. You can write a full sentence, or you can write in a single word that is rainbow. Next is answer two. what is the question how is it formed how the rainbow is formed according to the poem so you have to write drop drops of water through sunlight
Now, question number three. Actually, it is written A, B, C. I have written 1, 2, 3. You can write A, B and then C. So, question C is how many colors are there in it? So, how many colors are there in rainbow? 7. Now, answer D. Name the colors of the rainbow. So now you have to write names of the colors. So names of the colors are red, yellow, green, violet, Indigo, blue and orange, blue and orange. These are the names of colors. Now, exercise E. That means question number E. When do you see the rainbow? So when we are seeing that rainbow. Answer is. That's why the answer is through the sunlight. So whenever you can see that the rain is coming, as soon as rain stops and sun comes, we can see the rainbow. So that's why through the sunlight. So answers are rainbow. Second answer is drops of water through sunlight. Third one is seven. And Fourth one is red, yellow, green, violet, indigo, blue and orange. And the last one is through the sunlight. Now next is exercise B. Here what you have to do? Give three describing words from the poem. So, first word is beautiful. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Beautiful. Now, second one is lovely. Now, third one is pretty. So exercise B, so describing words are beautiful, lovely, pretty. So these are the answers of the comprehension, comprehension or the poem, the rainbow. So for today, I will end my class here. Now what you have to do? You have to write these answers in the textbook itself and you have to learn these answers thoroughly for your exams. So, thank you for watching. Meet you in the next class.